What's up, Prize Fight fans? I'm Brian Tong, and we've got a showdown of epic proportions. It's a battle for game console bragging rights between the Xbox 360 and the Sony PS3. Our judges for this fight are seen at Review's senior editor, John Falcone, assistant editor, Jeff Bacalar, and you know who. We'll take all three judges' scores and average them out to the nearest 10th, and the final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. Blood will be shed, so let's get it on. Round one, we're talking design. Look at these two right now. Which one would you rather make out with? The 360's color is black, its power brick is a monster, but our judges give it props for its controller design. The PS3's black piano finish and built-in power supply make it the sexier choice, even if Jeff Backlar thinks it looks like a George Foreman grill. The 360 gets a 3.3, but the PS3 gets the edge with a 3.7 for looks. Next round is features. The PS3 is packed with everything you could ask for. There's built-in Blu-ray and Wi-Fi, Bluetooth makes it compatible with other third-party devices, and you can install your own hard drive and even run Linux on it. The 360 has no built-in Wi-Fi. That sucks. There's a proprietary wireless connection for devices, and it's not nearly as customizable. The lack of Blu-ray hurts too, but it's compatible with infrared universal remotes. The PS3 is the king of features, scoring a perfect five, and the Xbox 360 gets a 3.7. Now, after averaging two rounds, the PS3 leads 4.4 to 3.5. Round three is online services. If you're looking for the best online gaming experience, the Xbox 360 is where it's at, hands down. Now, a year of service might cost you the price of a game, but its performance and features make it worthwhile. Plus, Netflix streaming ups the ante. Sony's PlayStation Network is free, and it continues to mature, but the gaming experience isn't as smooth, and the PlayStation Home Edition changed nothing. Its built-in web browser does allow you to watch YouTube and Hulu content if you're into that kind of thing. The judges all agree here, Microsoft's box gets a five, and Sony gets a three. Next round, graphics performance. Sony bragged about its vaunted cell processor, but up to this point, the 360 and PS3 are pretty much on par with each other. Our GameSpot buddies have tons of graphic comparisons, and even if it's subtle, the 360 has a slight, slight advantage when comparing the same titles. But then, when it comes to console exclusives on the PS3, like Metal Gear Solid or Killzone 2, there's nothing out there like them. This one's just too close to call, and we're giving both consoles a four. Now, after averaging four rounds, the Xbox 360 plays Comeback Kid and takes the lead four to 3.9. These are gaming consoles, guys. The next round is all about the games. Both consoles have killer exclusives. The Xbox 360 flexes its muscle with Gears of War and Halo 3, while the PS3 shows what it's got with Metal Gear Solid and Little Big Planet. Now, games like Bioshock and Left 4 Dead came out on the 360 before their PS3 version, but there's more to the game library than that. The 360 also has been able to lock down more exclusive downloadable content for its games like GTA 4 and Fallout 3. Plus, the Xbox Live Arcade brings a huge library of casual and classic games compared to the PlayStation Network. Now, you can still play most original Xbox titles on the 360, but it bums me out that the current versions of the PS3 eliminate backwards compatibility. A game library will always be an arms race, but our judges give the Xbox 360 a four and the PS3 a three. The Xbox is still on top by three tenths of a point overall, but we're not done yet. This one's going six rounds, and the final round is bang for your buck. The PS3 is still the best Blu-ray player on the planet, and it's feature loaded. But 400 bucks is still a lot of cheddar to enjoy the PS3 experience. The Xbox 360 has an impressive game library with a stellar online service, and Netflix is just icing on the cake, making it well worth its $300 price tag. In the final round, the judges give the 360 a four and the PS3 a three. So let's average out all the scores, and after six SmackDown rounds, the Xbox 360 comes from behind to take this one four to 3.6 and is your prize fight winner.
Now there's no conspiracy in this prize fight ring, and we know the PS3 does have a slightly higher score on our overall CNET rating, but right now we're saying the Xbox 360 is a better gaming console, and the PS3 remains a compelling do-it-all device. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching, we'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight. For your daily dose of tech news, check out CNET's Loaded. It's packed full of the latest tech news highlights that matter to you. Find out the latest gadgets or the coolest gizmos. All that and more Monday through Thursday at CNET.com slash Loaded.